weeks ago, I was pleased to have in the studio Patrick Lister-Todd, a former Lieutenant Commander in the Royal Navy, and Caroline Page, who was a navigator in the Royal Air Force and who once steered me on a helicopter between Basra and Kuwait. Both have been members of the military when to be gay, or in Caroline's case, trans, in the armed forces was a crime. And both have been awaiting anxiously the findings of the Etherton Review into the treatment of LGBT veterans from that era, which ended only in 2000. This week, that review was published, and it documented decades of long-lasting hardship caused by, quotes, intrusive and invasive investigations into the sexualities of service personnel. Speaking in the House of Commons, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak apologised to LGBT veterans. The ban on LGBT people serving in our military until the year 2000 was an appalling failure of the British state, decades behind the law of this land. As today's report makes clear, in that period many endured the most horrific sexual abuse and violence, homophobic bullying and harassment, all while bravely serving this country. Today, on behalf of the British state, I apologise. Well, I'm very glad to be rejoined by Patrick and Caroline, post-publication. Patrick, what has been your reaction to the report? Well, I think we're all very pleased that it's finally arrived. Uh, We had wanted it published uh, a a lot sooner. And uh, um, nevertheless, uh, this last Wednesday, it was published. And uh, we heard the Prime Minister's statement. And more interestingly, uh, there was an hour on the floor uh, with the the Secretary of State for Defence, Ben Wallace, um, who who, um, expanded on that apology and also answered uh, uh, various questions. So we're pleased that it's here. It contains 49 recommendations. And although we've now gone into the summer recess, uh, Parliament will not return until the autumn, we are obviously very keen um, that our veterans, all those who've been affected by this ban in the past, see every one of those recommendations uh, adopted by the government and moreover, put into place without delay. Um, Caroline, may I ask you, um, was it an emotional moment when you heard about the report and heard the apology? And may I ask you also, does it have any practical effect upon you in terms of medals or compensation or anything like that? Uh, Michael, great to see you again. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, as Patrick said, we were up in Strangers Gallery and uh, with some veterans who had been impacted by the ban and the emotions in that gallery were incredible. The, the, it just There was tears, uh, there was happiness, there was pride. There was pride in the fact that their service had now been recognised uh, and uh, they were um, serving personnel. They were our, our front line of defence and we treated them so badly. And now the nation has said we did that and, and that we're proud of them. So uh, there's mixed emotions, of course, because an apology is absolutely brilliant. It's a long time coming. Um, however, it doesn't fix uh, what happened to those individuals. And that's what the reparations are all about. And as Patrick said, there's 49 of them, plus a few more in, in, in uh, suggestions uh, uh, from Lord Efferton. Um, and those will include the medals and uh, the likes of um, uh, the, the pardons and the extension of pardons. And those are already up and available on the uh, Ministry of Defence website. But um, there's a lot of the more complex uh, reparations that we'll need a bit more time to look at. And that's why the government has set those aside until they uh, come back after summer recess. And that, of course, includes uh, compensation. Um, and when you read the story, within that report, Lord Efferton's report, and please do read them. Uh, it gives you a huge insight, a very sad insight, and you see the impact on those veterans. I've heard those stories day in, day out, and they bring me to tears. Um, but when you read those, you will understand why it is essential that compensation is uh, paid out, and also quickly as well. Uh, Patrick, if I may, may ask you fairly briefly, what, what do you think will be the pa- practical consequences for you? The most enormous satisfaction that a um, a, a campaign uh, over uh, 30 years draws to a conclusion. I'm not interested in what is or is not available for me. 
I um, fell on my sword. I effectively was constructively dismissed. I was not one of those who had their career ripped from them, <clears throat> uh, all their medals ripped from them. Um, so I'm pleased for all, all those we represent. That is what I'm going to get out of it. Um, but they have waited a long time. We do want them to get uh, their reparations as soon as possible. Um, Patrick Lister Todd and Caroline Page, may I say that if the Prime Minister has apologised for what happened many years ago, I would like to add my apologies since I was uh, Secretary of State for Defence between 1995 and 1997. Thanks for coming on to both of you.